guys, I'm Jess, and today on Beepop, I have another empties video for you. Let me show you. There's not like a ton in here, but I figured I might as well, because if I don't, I'll forget, and then this will be a 30 minute long video. And some of you don't like long videos, other of you do. So I figured I might as well just go ahead and do this while I'm thinking about it, so then it won't be a super insane long video. So let's do this. <laughs> First up, I have the Yes 2 Carrots and Kale um, Makeup Wipes. These are the newer makeup wipes from Yes 2. I think they're around $7 and you can get 30 wipes. I like these a lot. They're great for sensitive skin. They're also orange, which I am cool with. And they smell nice. The scent isn't overpowering. That's what I love about Yes 2. Like, the stuff is not overpowering. And it's also very natural. And these are 100% vegan. So... Yes, two vegan wipes. I have another empty overtone. If you guys saw my video where I refreshed my overtone, or refreshed my hair actually, with overtone, then you'll notice I used a whole tub of this stuff. Actually, there was like a fourth of this left, like this much, and I totally used all that up. I really like this. I think this is $28. This is the extreme purple. There also is vibrant purple and pastel purple. If you live in that pastel life, there's a color for you too. If you live in the vibrant life, there's a color for you. If you're using the extreme life, there's a color for you. No, I love Overtone. I swear by this stuff. If you guys know I haven't been to the salon in over two years, thanks to Overtone. And I just highly recommend it to everyone I see. If people comment on my hair and ask me what's my secret for keeping it so vibrant, I tell them it's overtone. So I'm probably like, I don't know, selling the crap out of this. <laughs> but I love it and I just, like, when you love something, it's hard to not tell everyone about it. Especially if you see other girls with rainbow colored hair and you're like, mm-hmm, you want to know how to keep that color in your hair and not in the shower floor? Overtone. Next up, I have, oh crap, I have this L'Oreal Texit Tassel Wave Spray. This stuff sucks. I don't even like it. It doesn't work at all. I'm, I got no extra wave that I didn't already have wave in my hair, so it did really nothing. It didn't improve my wave at all. It didn't make me have beachy waves, like blowing in the sunset. None of that. So, pass on this. Don't even bother. I'm very real when it comes to my reviews. Ooh. This is amazing. I love this stuff. It's Paula's Choice Resist Brightening Essence. This stuff is amazing. So it's like a, it's like an oil kind of elixir maybe. And you just pump it like that. And it says two or three drops to the face and neck. I definitely use more than that. And when I did actually use it in the AM and the PM, um, it definitely made my face glow and like my skin looks so nice so I will probably repurchase this I really liked it I know it's a little bit more expensive um but I actually got this one for free from Paula's Choice they asked me if I would like to try it out and they didn't say like do a video or anything they're just like hey you want to try this out and I was like hey yes so I tried this out I tried out a few other products I didn't really like as much but I really like this one probably gonna repurchase it it's probably like forty dollars but worth it then I have a Sephora sleeping mask. It is the pearl one. I really like these sleeping masks because you can get a lot of uses out of one pack. I think I used this three or four times and it still has a chunk in the back. Can't see that. Um, but I really like it. There's a lot in here for one use. Like my face is not that big. There's not a whole lot of land area going on. Next, I have a Wallflower by Bath & Body Works. I love these things. They're all over my house. This one, let's see if I can just tell the scent by smelling it. Was it evergreen or something? It smells like Christmas. I think it was like evergreen. But I wonder why I saw it evergreen going in my house. I don't know. But I love these things. They put off a lot of scent and they're great for rooms to smell nice. I'm all for it. I have a few empties, makeup empties. This is the Essence Flash Princess, and it has the pink top, 
and I love this stuff. It was so good. Gave me volume, gave me link. My dog is barking insane right now. But I really like this stuff. The only reason I didn't repurchase it is that my is that my Target no longer carries Essence. So I couldn't repurchase it unless I went to Ulta. And I don't have an Ulta around me. So I just bought a different mascara. But I really like this one. And I think that was around $5. I also have the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brown Mascara and Nothing But Brunette. You guys know I'm addicted to this stuff. Like, I love it. And I think this is like three or four dollars and I actually did repurchase this already. Next I have another Wet n Wild product. I love Wet n Wild you guys. Um, this is the Mega Cushion Awesome Foundation. I wish there was more in here. I feel like cushion foundations you obviously don't get as much product as if you got a normal foundation. And this one is in Light Ivory. I did already repurchase this, not gonna lie. And it's, I like it when I travel. It's very easy to apply and I don't have to deal with a beauty blender or anything because it comes with a sponge or a cushion that you can just use. And it's just very easy for me. I think that's like $9. It's cheaper than the L'Oreal pink cushion one I was using. Then I have some toothpaste. This is the Crest Pro Health toothpaste. I didn't get it again. I think I got like Colgate or something, but I always change up my toothpaste because I always forget what I have at home and then I go to Target and I'm like, ah, oh, so many choices. And I just pick something else. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in Ozone. It's a clear like pencil. I don't even know why. I got this via Ipsy. That tells you how long ago I got this. It's probably like four years ago and I don't like it. I don't really use lip products that much so I mean that kind of explains that doesn't it. And then I have oh my go-to eye primer that is no longer my go-to eye primer. It's the Cinderella one. It's from the Disney collections that was at Walgreens like last year or two years ago. And I really like this eye primer. I used the crap out of it. It is now empty. I think it was like $3 too, so it was like a really good deal. My voice is like weird today. What the heck? And then I have Secret Clinical Strength Clear Gel Clean Lavender Scent. I love this stuff. It's great. Just put it on and then I'm good to go. So actually I already purchased that. Thank you guys so much for watching this MG's video. If you like MG's videos, make sure and give this video a big thumbs up. While you're down there, hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload a new video. You can find me here on social media. If you guys have any video suggestions, please leave me a comment down below. And check back every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday for new videos. And click that button below to subscribe. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.